It was another beautiful day. Did you see the skies across the northwest? But you know what clear skies mean this time of year? It means mm -hmm. it's another cold afternoon. Let's get to Mike Everett, our chief meteorologist. Gorgeous out there right now. It is indeed. The sunset's fantastic, and you're exactly right, Joyce. Clear means cool. We're going to cool very efficiently tonight into the mid-20s once again. In fact, we got a couple more of those headed our way, and then some changes this weekend that will kind of put us into more of a wet pattern. I'll show you that in a moment, but let's celebrate what we've got. You know, a lot of times we show you the LaPush camera to show you just how wild and active things are out along the coast, but when it's tranquil out there, man, it is absolutely gorgeous. Some little waves come Coming in, beautiful blue skies there. Here's another gorgeous look. This is Everett right now, off towards the west. Spectacular sunset. That's some postcard stuff right there. Light winds keeping the waters just with a little bit of texture on them there. And it's going to be a chilly evening. Now, if you're wondering what that sun is doing along the Seattle waterfront, it's lighting it up and creating a lot of gold and making Rainier look absolutely spectacular. Fresh snow last weekend and more on the way. Cool temperatures though. We hit 40 today, 38 is where we are now. We're already Already cooling. We've got that light wind coming in from the northwest. Barometric pressure holding steady just over 30. Current temperatures, or no, excuse me, low temperatures this morning were once again well below freezing for virtually all of us, but not into record territory and not as chilly as it has been the last couple of days, but still 24 in Everett, 30 Chehalis, 28 out towards Forks, 22 is plenty cold in Bellingham. Here's what to expect. It will be not as cold tonight, but still below freezing. I'll show you those numbers in a moment. We're going to stay dry into Saturday, right around midday on Saturday is when the next system moves in and it's going to bring low level rain and mountain snow the way that it should be. Active pattern ahead and it looks like it's going to really start to bump up the snowpack in the mountains, which is something that we need to do between now and April to mitigate fire season. Current temperatures right now in the upper 30s and lower 40s. We've got 38s in Bellingham and Friday Harbor, 40 right now in Bremerton and Shelton, 45 out towards Hoquiam. and that's nice. 41 in Forks and a quick trek with Winthrop, currently 27 degrees there. Overnight lows tonight will once again be below freezing for most of us. Oak Harbor and Friday Harbor will stay slightly above that mark. Coquium as well, but for the rest of us, we're going to be riding in some mid 20s in Seattle. 26 is our overnight, 27 in Chehalis, and 27 will be your number in Shelton. So here's what radar looks like overnight tonight, and all throughout the day on Friday. It's going to stay clear, but then some changes move in. So here's what's happening in the big picture. We had that moisture that just pushed through this morning that gave us that low level snow, not a whole lot of it. And as we take a look at the GOES 17 satellite, the trough that's bringing us this cold weather is well off towards the east. So that's where it's driving the colder temperatures. To put it into perspective, the high tomorrow in Dallas will be 45. We're going to be two degrees warmer than that. So yeah, we're doing just fine. Clear temperatures will take us into the mid 20s overnight tonight. We are expecting some weather to start to move in right around midday on Saturday. So prepare for that. And it looks like it's going to stick around for a couple days and put us back into a pattern where it will be wet down low and track and snow up high. Looks like we get to 47 tomorrow, 50 next Wednesday.